Hey everybody, welcome back to Master of the Grid! We got another full house today. A whole bunch of awesome custom skins, man. I'm loving these. Hash her in with the... I imagine there's some kind of flag, although I can't I can't quite tell. We got the Ice Cube head from Gavin up there looking pretty sharp. Jordan Denny's our former winner again, rocking the crown, gotta love it. Former winner as well, Luke down here. Very, very nice. Looking good, folks. Got a brand new slate of questions ready for you. Hello, Nippleheim. How's it going, man? Good to see you guys. All right. More Master of the Grid coming at you. Let's do our first challenge. Here we go. What game had the first Easter egg implemented? Was that Call of Duty Ghosts, Pac-Man, Atari's Adventure, or Breakout? It was the first game to involve an Easter egg. It's now, uh commonly known industry term actually it kind of derived from this game Atari's Adventure was the correct answer there it contained a uh, an Easter egg first to be discovered by its players in 1979 being the name of the game's programmer Warren Robinet in 2004 an earlier Easter egg was found in video whizball 1978 game for the uh, Fairchild Channel F system. So, of course, the first one to be discovered was in Atari's Adventure. There it is. Fastest correct answer there by Rapif. Very good stuff. With Seppi rocking the uh, Northern Lion picture there as well. Good stuff. Pretty interesting uh, first challenge there. Very, very good. COD Ghost, yes. <laughs> Quite clearly the uh, correct answer there. Very, very good. All right, it's kind of vague phrasing here, but I think the general idea is going to get by. Let's see if you guys can figure it out. Which language is English not related to? Only one correct answer here. Which language of these four is English not related to? Afrikaans, Basque, German, or Dutch? Of these four, which is English not related to? We shall find out. Yes, Novanus, please do not uh, answer the questions in that chat. You can go over to masterofgrid.net and play along with us, of course. Just avoid typing answers in the chat in general. Basque is the correct answer there. Afghans, German, and Dutch all... Or English, rather, related to all of those in some form or another. Tricky couple of starter questions here. Certainly not the... Uh, certainly not the... Easiest of the bunch. Rapif, the fastest to answer that correctly. Still maintaining three hearts. Very solid stuff there. It's the Indo-European languages, man. That's the, uh... That's the big kicker there. Wow, wow. My goodness. <laughs> Dude, this is, uh... This is getting quite interesting. We're into our third challenge now. We very well may see some empty seats after this one. Let's find out. How many cells are in the average human body? 70 trillion, billions, hundreds of millions, or trillions? Submitted by Beaker. We have billions, hundreds of millions, trillions, or 70 trillion. So kind of a uh, variety of available answers here. The answer is 70 trillion cells in the average human body. Now hold on there, I'm gonna go ahead and verify this one. Just to make sure. May have, um, hmm. May have conflicting information, just wanna verify it. I don't know about this one. Yeah, that's, uh, I don't, I don't like the options here. Because the trillions compared to 70... Yeah, we're going to nullify that. I don't, I'm sorry, guys. We're going to nullify that challenge. We're going to skip by that one. The, uh, the phrasing on that one, I'm actually going to go ahead and have to put that under review, too. Yeah, that one's not good. The, uh, the trillions combined to 70 trillion, that is... That is kind of interesting. So we'll, we'll pass that one off. That's a nullify there. Alright, let's move forward. 
So we're now on to our third official challenge here. The Knight's Hospitaller. The Knight's Hospitaller. Knight's Hospitaller. We're a Catholic order originating from a hospital associated with which of the following? St. Arumba of Europe, St. Mike of Venice, St. Teresa of Avila, or St. John the Baptist? Yeah, usually you have better to go with the exact answers there. St. John the Baptist, originator of the uh, Knights Hospitaller. So you got that one right. Hospitallers probably arose as a group of individuals associated with an uh, Amalfitan hospital in the Muristan district of Jerusalem, which was dedicated to St. John the Baptist and founded around 1023 by Blessed Gerard Thorne to provide care for poor, sick, or injured pilgrims in the Holy Land. Tom, the fastest answer that one correctly. Still rocking full hearts there, Tom, as well. Good stuff. Somehow it wasn't a Roomba. Yeah, that's confusing there, isn't it? Very interesting uh, multiple choice selection there. Uh, Hashar, we're going to be playing some uh, Choice Chamber as well as some Sherlock Holmes later on the stream. They do some massive grid in the moment, though. Alright, moving on. Which of these regular characters from Star Trek? original in 1966, was the only one that appeared in the original pilot episode. Is that Bones, Spock's, Darth Vader, or Scotty? Bones, Spock, Darth Vader, or Scotty? The original pilot episode. 1996, or 1966 rather, pilot of Star Trek. That is Spock! To be expected, I think, for a lot of people. The first pilot episode, The Cage, was actually rejected by NBC on the grounds that it was too intellectual and did not have enough action. It's quite interesting there. So Spock was the only one there as well. There we go. Extreme Man, the fastest answer that one correctly. Almost went with Darth Vader in an attempt to be the fastest. <laughs> so close, so close. Okay. Got the uh, photo associated challenge here. Let's see if you can manage to get this one right. In which Olympic Games was this photo taken? The 1976 Summer Olympics, the 1968 Summer Olympics, 1972 Summer Olympics, or the 1964 Summer Olympics. This is a very, very famous photo, actually. In which Olympic Games was that photo taken? That was the 1968 Black Power Salute photo there. Uh, it was an act of protest by the African-American athletes Tommy Smith and John Carlos during the medal ceremony as they turned to face their flags and hear the American National Anthem. They each raised a black glove fist and kept them raised until the anthem had finished. Congratulations Vic Vinegar for the uh, fastest correct answer there. They all wore human rights badges on their jackets. Uh, Tommy Smith stated later in his autobiography that the gesture was not a black power salute, but a human rights salute instead. Regarded as one of the most overly political statements in the history of the modern Olympic Games. So, the more you know. There we go. Knocked out quite a few, actually, with that one. So it is, it's still a tough question. I like the, uh, like the available answers there, because unless you know particularly what the photo is from, you can't really uh, put a finger on the, the date, I suppose, so... Quite interesting there. You got it wrong, but people should know the answer to that, right? Yeah. I mean, like, I feel like I should have known the answer to that. I probably would have honestly gotten it wrong too. I I, I couldn't tell you like the exact year without uh, having the uh, reference on hand. But yeah, good to know about that kind of information. There we go. Who wrote the Saint Matthew Passion in 1727? This is in the field of arts and books submitted by Daniel Harrison. Is that Johann Sebastian Bach, Henry Purcell, Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart, or Ludwig van Beethoven? Who wrote the St. Matthew Passion in 1727? Hello, Randomness. How's it going? Welcome back. Good to see you. Good to see you. Thanks for maintaining the subscription, man. Appreciate that a lot. St. Matthew Passion composed by Johann Sebastian Bach in 1727. Knocking off quite a few here. Still got uh, quite a few in the middle row going strong. Hammer and... Uh, is that Mattel up there? Very nice. Shooty back in his regular spot. Fastest answer to that one correctly. 
I think I saw a full hearts on Yosepi there as well. Well played there as well. Good stuff. T, how's it going? Welcome, welcome, welcome. You knew that one at least Razor Kill nice. <laughs> you guessed three in a row, Jim Coles. Holy cow. We are down to uh, 4, 8, 12, 16, 20. 20 contestants remain. Tom is still up here. It looks like, uh, actually, there might be a graphical glitch up in this direction. Rev, Ricky D, Bienden. Hammer still here. Hitoshura, Vic Vinegar. Nurar guest 2601. Yosepi may be the only one with multiple hearts right now. This is quite interesting. Jim Cole is still staying on by the skin of his teeth there, of course, guessing those last few. Wait, say those German <laughs> hey, man. I won't claim to be ca capable. It's certainly true. Alright. Why do chameleons change color? There's only one correct answer here, keep in mind. As a response to emotional stimuli, to hide from colorblind predators, or to attract a mate? This is a good question, submitted by uh, Solon of Athens. Good stuff. Now why do chameleons change color? This is very well, uh, very well done question here, I like this. It's a response to emotional stimuli. Color changing chameleons has functions in social signaling and reactions to temperature and other conditions as well as in camouflage. It can technically have a function of camouflage against enemies as well, but if an enemy is colorblind, there's no reason to change color because the enemy is not going to be able to perceive that. So it's a very well-phrased selection of answers here. Hiding from colorblind predators would not do it any favors. So, correct answer there, of course, being the response to emotional stimuli. Take it easy, Louie. Have a wonderful evening, man. So we knocked out quite a few there. Extreme Man Fest is to answer that one correctly. Good stuff. So there we go. Knocked out a few there. I think this, yeah, I'm pretty sure this person up here is gone. I'm not really sure what was going on with that. Giuseppe actually lost his first heart on that question. Unfortunately. You achieved your first successful speedrun, Spyros. Nice. Well done, buddy. Well done. All right. Well, I'd be very impressed if anyone had this knowledge on hand a forefront before seeing the, uh, multiple choice responses here, but let's find out. Submitted by Problem Machine, who invented the process of vulcanizing rubber? Is it Charles Goodyear, Nikola Tesla? Alsace Volka? Or Frederick Michelin? Alsace Volka. I think that's how you say that one. Who invented the process of vulcanizing rubber? Well, you guys probably recognize some of these names from uh, tire brands. One of them, in fact, being the correct answer of Charles Goodyear. Very well known in the uh, in the automotive industry there. Knocked out quite a few. A couple of folks managed to get that one correctly. There we go. Very good, very good. Be editing the fastest to answer that one correctly. Charles Goodyear. Invented the process of vulcanizing rubber. Labor Red Dragon, how's it going? Vulcanize your rubber. Nice. You're going to win, Vic Vinegar. You're staying strong up here, aren't you, buddy? There you are. I see ya. I see ya. I think we've only got six left. I'm not sure what's going on up in this direction. If uh, somebody's playing up here, let me know what's going on in your chair, because I'm not really sure how that happened, but... Yo Sup still sticking around. Yosepi's got his two hearts. Hammer's still sticking around as well. Yenin, Hiroshitoshura, and Vic Vinegar. Still going. Ooh. Hmm. Yeah, I think we can do this one. I like it well enough. Let's go. Oh, it has a picture. Okay, even better. Which country's flag consists of four red rectangles separated by a horizontal and a vertical white line? AKA, this is the flag of which country? Is it Finland, Denmark, Iceland, or Norway? So, I mean, you can all see the photo. Which country? This, or rather, this is the flag of which country submitted by the Ward VG. That is the flag of Denmark. So you got that one right. Wow, not cool. That was uh, actually really good multiple choice response answers there. Good stuff. Yosep got the fastest correct answer there. Yosepi actually got that one incorrect as well. Drop by and college work from Marshall. Probably get that done right on random. Just say thank you, thank you very much for hanging out, man. Have a wonderful evening. There it is. So many wrong answers, my goodness. That is the flag of Denmark, folks. 
southwest of Sweden, south of Norway. So those are all very close countries geographically to Denmark, but as far as their flags are concerned, I mean, Sweden, you got the blue and yellow, so the colors are completely wrong. I don't know. I don't know. Probably just not really uh, common knowledge there. But, we'll move forward. Team graphical glitch. <laughs> wow. Oh, this might be uh, this might be a killer here. Team not hammer. <laughs> what we got left? Hammer, of course, is still staying strong. Giuseppe's still in there, regardless of the last couple of questions he missed. But yo sup, still in here as well. And then we just got some guy hanging out in the bleachers, cheering people on. Team glitch guy, all the way. Yes. All right. Let's do it. How many elements are in a liquid state at room temperature? That is 25 degrees Celsius, 77 degrees Fahrenheit, or 298 Kelvin? 4, 3, 2, or 1? How many elements are in a liquid state at room temperature? The correct answer there is 2. Bromine and mercury. Both liquids at room temperature. Bromine is a reddish-brown liquid, and mercury is a toxic, shiny, silvery metal. Let's go to the results here. I believe all three of them got that one right. Yosepi, the fastest to answer that one correctly. I'm assuming Yosep got it as well. Oh, no, he didn't. Yosep got knocked out. Goodbye, Yosep. You tried. You tried, my friend. Glitch is gone for you. I'm afraid to refresh the page. I'm pretty sure that's not going to work out properly. Mercury was the one I knew about, yeah. Mercury was the guaranteed one in my brain. I didn't know if there were any others. I couldn't have told you, so... There we go. Very interesting. Let's see here. I don't think we want to end with that one. Let's go ahead and go forward. Um, hmm. That'll work. That'll do. Gonna tick off all the valid answers for this next question. Which of these countries are smaller by area than the United States of America? Australia, Brazil, Canada, or China? Or and China, even. Submitted by Sigma Receptor. Which of these countries are smaller by area than the United States of America? Let's tick off all valid answers. Correct answers there. Australia and Brazil. Canada, much, much bigger than the United States of America. And China, surprisingly, is a little bit bigger. In fact, from largest to smallest here, we've got Russia, then Canada, China, the United States, Brazil, Australia, then India, in that order. I think both of them got that wrong. Yes, nobody got that correct. Giuseppe and Hammer still going toe to toe. No lies will be removed. There we go. 50 grand on Glitch Guy winning it, yes. <laughs> that's, a, that's a deceptive question there. I like that one as well. Okay. Let's see here. Might be a guess, but we might have somebody who knows uh, this kind of information offhand, so we'll see. Michael Collins is a 20th century revolutionary from which country? Scotland, Wales, Ireland, or England? Michael Collins. Now, you might be able to discern, based on the last name there, a bit of, uh, a bit of, uh, cultural heritage. Perhaps the, uh, the Collins name derives from a particular nationality. That would be Irish. The Irish name Collins. Michael Collins, uh, famous Irish leader of the 20th century. So you managed to get that one right. We got a knockout of Hammer, which I believe means we have a winner in Yosepi! Congratulations to Yosepi. Well done, my friend. Perhaps of Irish descent yourselves. We'll never know, but Yosepi has gotten it. Ireland was the correct answer there. Congratulations, Yosepi. Well done, Mr. Pokeball Head. Enjoy your 1,000 gritties. Go get yourself a fancy new hat. You have earned it. Well played. Now, we're going to take another 90-second break here, guys. We're going to end the show and open up seating once more. We'll be back with even more Master of the Grid right after this.